Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install a unified network application from Linux Server on Dockage. So, this is the new and updated version of Unify uh, Network Application uh, from Linux Server. Um, there was a unified a controller that was deprecated, and but this was the, uh, this is the new one. Um, so, a little bit about this series: I'm going over home labs, you're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, support the channel, and Let's get started. So we will be installing Linux Server Unified Network application. This makes it where you can ma manage your devices on your Unified Network. Um, the supported architectures are AMD64 and ARM64 V8. Um, this did uh, this one did replace the Unified controller, which is deprecated now. So this is an updated video for Unify Network application. So um, I'll go over getting it fu fu fully set up and the MongoDB and everything. So let's get this rolling. So before we can actually install a Unify Network application, we're going to need to go to Big Bear Scripts. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm gonna scroll down to generate a Unify Network application in it, a Mongo. And then I'm going to go into run.sh. So we're going to start with bin bash. We're going to ask the user for the di desired configuration pa path, the location of it. So the default is data, app data, unified network application, and then db and init mongo.js. And then once that's done, e either the user entered it or we're going with the default. So, uh, if the user entered it, it's going to be in the location right here. We're going to check if the location is uh, if empty. If the user did not enter anything, it's going to go with the default location down here. And then it's going to check if the config uh, file already exists. So, it's going to look for uh, this location right here, if it exists. And then we're going to warn the, uh, the location already exists. Do you want to replace it? And then the user can say yes or no. And then it's gonna say create the directory and its parents. If it doesn't exist, it's gonna cr create the directory. It's gonna get the directory and not the fi file down here. And then we're gonna download the file from the given URL. So raw github user content dot, uh, dot com and then Big Bear Tech World Big Bear Video Assets and then main. And there we go. And then that there's your init mongo.js that we're gonna get. And then, uh, if this does fail for any reason, it's going to say error downloading the file, check your internet connection. And then, uh, once that's done, it should be saved in the location. So we're going to say to the user config, uh, saved of this location of wh whatever the user picked. So that's how the script works. So now we're going to start on Big Bear Video Assets right here. And I'm going to scroll down to how to uh, install a Unify Network application on Dockage right here. And then um, we're going to need to scroll down to this run right here. So I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to SSH in the server and run this uh, script that I just explained. So now we're going to SSH into our Dockage. And we're going to uh, paste in the command that we copied. I'm going to uh, run it. It's going to ask for location. I'm going to go for the default location, but you can put in another location if you like. So now it downloaded and it's put it in this path right here. So I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to cat it out. So it's going to create a new user, a Unify, um, the, uh, the password, the Unify password. And then uh, it's going to add roles to the Unify DB and the uh, Unify set stat. Um, so that now we got that in place so now we can go ahead and uh, get the actual unified network application installed so i'm going to start on big bear video assets there will be a link on the youtube description to get to this and i'm going to scroll down to how to install a unified network application on dockage right here and then i'm going to go into the docker compose so version 2.1 of docker compose is being used I'm gonna set services, and the first service underneath the service is called Unified DB. It's gonna be M Mongo, and it's coming off Docker Hub by default. It's using 6.0.11 for the Docker image tag. 
The container name is going to be called a Unify DB. The volumes are set. So a data, app data, a Unify network application, D, a DB, a data. And then on the cont container side is data, a DB. Do not change the container side, but you can change the, the host side if you'd like. The data, app data, Unify network application, DB init, mongo.js. Uh, uh, this will be the path that we ran the script with. And uh, do not change this if you went with this path, but change it if you went with another path. And then docker entry point init db.d and then init mongo.js and then read only. So the ports will be uh, uh, 27017 is on the host and on the container is 27017. Do not change the cont container side. Um, restart unless stop. So that means if you, if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I'm going to set the uh, service down here, a block below the services. So it'll be called Unify Network Application. The image is coming off the Linux uh, server, the registry for that one. And then a Linux server, a Unify Network Application. And then the latest tag is being used. Container name is going to be called Unify Network Application. The environment variables are set. So the connection for the Mongo uh, D uh, DB up here. And then the, the memory limit, the memory startup, and then Mongo T TLS, Mongo auth source, uh, the user ID and the group ID for permissions, and then the time zone. You can set this to your time zone. And then now I'm going to set volumes, so data, app data, Unify Network application, config. This is on the host side. The, the left side is on the, 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 the host side, even with this one up here. So the host right here, and then the cont containers config. The, the ports are explained over in the comments right here for what they do. Um, what we will be using 8443, and this is on the host side, and this is on the container side. Do not change the container side, but you can change the host side if it does collide with another port. Um, restart and list stops. So that means if you stop it for a reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. It depends on the Unified DB, so up here. So that's a little bit about the Docker Compose for Unified Network Application. So I'm going to go up here to copy raw file, and then I'm going to go over to my dockage and get this installed. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, install the Unified Network Application on dockage. So I'm going to go up here to Compose, and then I'm going to put a stack name of Unify Stack, and then I'm going to come over here to the editor. I'm going to paste in the Docker Compose that I explained in Big Bear Video Assets. Once that's done, you'll see that the, uh, the uh, UI over here updated with the values over here under ser uh, services. So this is the two containers that are in there. You can also edit the containers too, like this. Um, I'm going to deploy now. What this is doing is it's pulling the Docker images off the registry, getting them extracted, and getting them up with Docker Compose underneath. So, we can see that it's up and running, and we got it done. So now I'm going to go over the options in the Dockage UI. So you can see that there's active stacks of 1, and then there's exit stacks of 0, inactive stacks of 0. So this gives you a quick status of all your stacks. You can see your stacks list over here, and we only have one stack, a Unified, Net uh, Unified Network Application stack over here. So I'm going to go into it. Um, you'll see actions up here, edit, restart, update, stop, and then stop and down, and then delete. The, the edit will be able to delete the, uh, uh, you, you'll be able to edit the Docker Compose over there. Um, you can see the containers that are running in this stack. So the Unified DB, which is the Mongo, and you can see what's running, the Docker image down here, and the version. You can see that the Unified Network application right here is running the latest tag. You can see all the ports right here. You can go into each container into the bash. You can also use this SH2. So I'm going to go back in the stack. You can do that for this one too. You can see the logs down here. This is great for debugging. You can see a read-only version of the Docker Compose over here. And then if you want to edit this Docker Compose, you just click edit. And then now you can edit it over here. And it'll sync over here and vice versa. Um, you can add URLs. 
you can set environment variables, uh, networks, internal networks, external networks. You can also add a new container t underneath the services right here. So there you go. And then now you can see it over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And um, you can deploy, save changes, stop and down, and then also discard the changes. So I'm gonna discard the changes. And um, you can just restart the stack and then you can see a live log down here of when it's restarting. Um, th this could take a bit. Now it's fully restarted. So um, you can also update the current tags on the uh, the two services, the Unified DB and the Unified Network Application. So this would just pull down the changes from the registry, get it uh, get get the local cache updated, and then redeploy the containers. Um, so. That's a little bit about the options in Dockage. So when you're on the um, uh, the Unify uh, stack right here, you can go to the sh a UI from clicking this port right here, but I need HTTPS, so I'm gonna be going th through my browser right here. So HTTPS, the IP on my Dockage, and then 8443 is the port. So I'm gonna go to it. It's gonna say your connection is not private. I'm gonna go to advanced, proceed, now we can name the Unify Network server. So I'm going to just name my server and then I'm gonna accept the uh, end user license agreement and the ter terms of service. You can also restore a server from backup right here. So I'm gonna say next down here. Now, if you have a UI account, you can put it in here. I'm gonna go to uh, advanced uh, setup and then skip. And then now I'm gonna put a local uh, ID in. So, um, to get this done, okay, now I've got it done. So, I'm going to say finish. Now it's setting up server. So, we're in here now. So, you can see our topology, our Unify devices, your client devices, the settings. Um, you can also go to system and see backups, administration, advanced. So, we got Unify Network Application running on Dockage. So I just went over everything to get you started with the Unify Network Application running on Dockage. So uh, this will be able to manage your Unify Network by adopting the Unify devices on there, like switches, uh, uh, APs, different things like that. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description, so stay tuned for more.